I want you to uh, talk with Ariane too, but let me tell you about the connected athletes. So the connected athlete, you wirelessly enable athletic gear. And you see behind you an athletic shoe, athletic helmet, obviously a football helmet. Um, think of, oh, that's perfect. So now I'm not going to tackle you, but if I were to tackle you, I would measure the, the, the force by which I'm hitting you. Uh, what other things are we getting, Ariane? I'm, get, I'm going to capture force. What else are we going to capture there? Force and acceleration. Good, Ari. Yeah. So basically what we're doing is we're capturing the impacts that you sustain during a game. And the key here is it's not any single impact. It's the cumulative effect of impacts that leads to uh, problems with concussions and with uh, other conditions like even dementia and older age. So what we're trying to do here is come up with a simple way to capture this data in real time, to be able to uh, uh, send it off to back-end applications so that decisions could be made on the basis of it. Maybe the impact was severe enough that this person needs to be taken out of the game. And if not, we want to be able to record this information over time so that we can trend it and then identify conditions, precursors to conditions before they actually set in. So who's going to tackle me so we can test it out? Can we, can we show her? Sure, we can show this is you. A, do okay. you guys wear football helmets? Did you play football? Uh, I did play football, yes. Did, did you was, know that they're heavy? They're very heavy. I feel like a bomb Your neck head. will be much stronger by the time the day's up. <laughs> I think we need to turn it on first, though. Okay, so if we can, off? yeah, yeah, if you could just take it off. I'm a, I'm a natural in the, in the helmet. Oh, well, it's coming right back on. And then you might even get a tackle photo op, too. Uh, so they keep Alan? asking me to put it on because I'm the only one whose hair doesn't get messed up. I'm offended. <laughs> Careful as you put it on. You'll Why don't you take there. this and okay. you can talk okay. while I put it on. All right, Here. that's it. Now, how do you feel? <laughs> how do I feel? Like yeah, a like a bobblehead. Okay. So now we've got the helmet on. Signed the liability waiver. Right over there. Yeah, you've signed the liability waiver. Okay, here we can see accelerations. As you move your head around, you'll see these uh, bars moving, the different colored bars. They show the acceleration. Now, there you go. Look. You're ready for the NFL. Roger Goodell was here yesterday. You should see you. Okay. Now, if you sustain an impact, then uh, maybe I'll let you do it yourself. You can uh, sort of smack yourself <laughs> in the head you somewhere. Do no, no, I, I don't want to. Liability waiver. Okay. Good. Okay. Go ahead. So maybe we can see the impact here. I don't know if you caught that. I don't want to do it again. Okay. Come here, Greg. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a really long time to do oh, this. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. All right. Wait on, wait on there. Okay, now watch really the simulation here. You see Harder? That? Okay, yeah, you're being too kind. There oh. you go. <laughs> She's that up. On the side, yeah. Well, you're going to my see these uh, red no, bars. I can't do it again. Let's not do that again. There you go. There you go. <laughs> you see that? I got it that time. Okay, ready? We're going to do it one more time. Okay, you can do it yourself. <laughs> Did it work? On the side. On the side. Yeah. It's really, it's starting to hurt. I think the, the, the helmet is made for size. I think you have a smaller head. I totally get the idea. Yeah. I, I, so now well, the punchline is this is a tunnel joke. We just wanted to see you smack yourself. Oh, okay. okay well, yeah, so I, I, this is a I, large I helmet. Really cool, yeah. I can't remember what happened. <laughs> this is exactly what we're talking about. Okay. Well, that is really cool. What else do you? What else is in the connected athlete? Is it just helmets, or do we have some other cool stuff? Well, we've got shoes. So we're using the same kind of technology, the same sensors, pressure and acceleration, and now we implement it in an insole. This is a uh, insole. It's kind of like your Dr. Scholl's, right? Except in this case, we're measuring the forces and the motion in the foot. So as you're walking, running, jumping. We can pick up these, uh, uh, these uh, measurements, collect this data, and send it off Wi-Fi. Once again, we can send it over networks like the uh, we've got a Cisco router there uh, for a stadium, let's say. Uh, even uh, ship it off over the Internet through the uh, Verizon cell network in real time. And once again, uh, be able to use this data in a variety of uh, analyses. You can see the data over here, in fact. And I think Doug has got a pair of the insoles on right now. You see, uh, That's Doug right there, down to the bottom with the green and uh, the green and yellow. So what we've got going on here in real time is step count. You see the pressure profiles for the left foot and the right foot. The foot is divided into four segments, so you can see toe, heel, and midsoles. Okay, so what kind of a stride does he have? Where is the uh, pressure pad and the pressure profile? So are you overpronating, underpronating? Are you taking a big hit on the ankle or something like that? These are the kinds of things that we can uh, 
uh, tell from the data that we're collecting. That's pretty awesome. I have one more question, sure. though. What kind of sport do you play in these? Uh, this is slipper hockey, actually. No. Okay, just no, checking. Actually, this is a uh, what we call the smart slipper. And for elders, for seniors, something that's of critical interest is the gait. Because oftentimes gait anomalies are the precursors, you know, changes in gait are the uh, sort of the signals that tell you that maybe there's a uh, onset of a chronic condition like dementia or uh, congestive heart failure. These are oftentimes indicated by changes in gait. And even if there aren't any changes in gait, we're all interested in activities of daily living. In other words, as long as the elders keep moving, they're active, they're in good health. When that starts to flag off, in other words, when you see changes in the trends, then you may be need to take an interest and see what's happening, especially when the elder is living alone. So this is just one other application for health and wellness that we can, uh, we can uh, bring with the same sensor technology that we have in. Very cool. So he said two things. Where's my? Uh, here you are. Yeah. I, I, the hits to my head. I'm having trouble yeah, I'm seeing. Sorry about 